B5 Rice today. Hope all y'all doing good as y'all watch this video and having a great, great day. Right here we got some top round steak. You can use flank, sirloin, whatever you like. Got some day old jasmine rice. It's a little dry, it's easier to make fried rice with. We have the bean sprouts. Mixed vegetables, peas and carrots, or you can use mixed vegetables. Got the scallions, green onions, or whatever you call them. Regular yellow onions. We're going to use the egg beaters instead of the regular eggs. Sesame oil. Soy sauce. Just the less salt version. Cornstarch. And oh, I forgot, I, I, I need black pepper or white pepper. Let's begin by marinating the beef. So in this bowl, I have a little bit of salt, uh, white pepper. I'm going to put like a quarter teaspoon of baking powder and like a teaspoon of cornstarch. A little bit of egg. All this help tenderize your beef. It's just a little bit of egg, you don't need much. And um, I'm gonna mix the beef up in here and let it marinate for like 30, 30 minutes. I almost forgot, you gotta put a tad bit of sesame oil in here too. So I got baking soda, Cornstarch, a little egg, salt, pepper, and sesame oil. If you was doing this for, um, you could do the same marinade for beef and broccoli. In my case, I'm going to use this with some beef egg fouillant too today. So on high heat, get your wok hot. The wok is hot, the wok is hot, hot, hot. Y'all might remember that song. Uh, hot boys or whatever. So we're going to get this wok hot. I'm going to take some peanut oil. Hold on, I need both hands. This is a little neat trick right here to tell if your oil is hot enough. Boom. Chopsticks. Never lie. Alright, we're going to throw some meat in here. going to um, sear this meat. Cook it all the way through first. So we got this meat. Gonna give it a nice sear. Just like that. And we're gonna take this out and put it in a separate bowl. Right here, you can like, you know, just do your meat like that and cut it to smaller bite-sized pieces. We're going to take this and put it on the side to the next step. We're going to add a little more oil right here in a hot wok. You see it still. The wok is hot. So, next step is to do the eggs. If you're using a regular egg, you can use one egg, two eggs. I like a lot of eggs in mine. So, that's about an egg and a half, I would say. You don't want to cook these all the way. Just a little bit. See, these eggs cook different. And we're going to sit these to the side. Next step, a little bit of more, a little bit more oil. And some of those white onions. Sometimes I do garlic. But I didn't feel like messing no garlic up and all that right now. So, let these onions cook a little bit. So, let's get them a little translucent. That's the little burnt egg. I'm going to scrape more of that out. Now I'm going to come with some bean sprouts. Throw those in there. Throw a little more. Nah, yeah, I like a little more. 
Now I'm going to come with the um, mixed vegetables. Let's just tenderize these a little bit. And I'm going to sit these on the side. Now here comes the star of the show. The rice. So you got the overnight sticky rice. What you do is you wet your hands and, you know, loosen it up. So the rice in there with a little bit of oil as... I demonstrated you saw it. So we're gonna to toss this rice up. You don't want too much oil because you don't want it too sticky. But you want to have enough where the starch from the rice don't stick all over the wok. Alright, this one we're gonna add our beef. We added beef. You see them little pieces. Now next will be the vegetables. I don't have dark soy sauce, so this soy sauce, regular soy sauce, will do. Here comes your egg. Mix that up in there. I hope I, I y'all can hear me. Everyone can hear me from the um, sizzling and stuff. Alright. Last but not least, the scallions, the green onion. Get them a toss, and we're going to plate up. Finished product, beef fried rice. Hope you enjoy. Video was kind of long. Make it your own. Stay blessed. Enjoy.